We've all seen it more and more in stores, efforts to stop the spread of the COVID-19 from tape on the floor to social distancing to wipes for your shopping carts. Now, Foodland making changes, rolling out new requirements for its shoppers. Kimberly Speakman explains. Starting Monday, Foodland will require employees and customers to wear a mask when shopping. Foodland CEO Janai Wall says the change is following the recommendation by the governor. By wearing a mask, you protect others around you, and we think that there's no harm in doing that. We think it helps our employees to feel safe, it helps customers to feel safe in the store. But if you don't have a mask, Foodland says they're working to make masks available for purchase at stores. They'll also be limiting how many people can enter their stores. Groups of more than two people will not be allowed in. Similarly, Costco began doing this last week. The less people, the less chance of spreading this thing. Tina Yamaki, president of the Retail Merchants of Hawaii, says many stores are stepping up their safety procedures. We are seeing um, Sneeze guards coming up with those plexiglass between the cashier and the customer because sometimes it's not really six feet apart. At some stores, you don't even have to enter to get your groceries, like down to earth. We have a number of ways to order. You can go to our website. You can actually schedule when, what kind of time frame you'd like to pick up your order and then you just come and a team member will come and bring your groceries out to you. But Yamaki says it's not only up to the stores. You should also try to limit the amount of time you spend at a store. That's where making a list of what you'll need will come in handy. I actually went through my pantry and to see actually what I had and took stock of and things I found that I thought I had nothing of. I had like six or seven of. You know, so kind of know what you have at home before you go shopping. Buy what you need. For more tips, you can visit our website, kchon2.com. Kimberly Speakman, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.